my bitch just want a Dorito. Like, <laughs> can I get a taco? Like, <laughs> why did I do that to myself? How did I get here again? I'd be hungry too. I procrastinated so long trying to make this video. I think because deep down inside, I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to admit the issues that I got with my weight, like out loud. Like I've shown my weight loss progress before on social media, but like only through like pictures, like not actually like day to day life and stuff, but I feel like with all my yo-yo dieting, I pretty much hit rock bottom. So there's nothing more that I can do that I'm willing to do. That's my problem. But yeah, here it goes. What up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what up? My name is Lucy. Hey to all my current subscribers. Uh, as you can see from the title, I want to discuss with y'all about me being fucking fat again. I hate it so bad. I hate it so bad, but it's something I have to come to terms with and it's something that I need to stop doing. I know people are like, what do you mean? Stop doing, stop being fat. Yeah, stop being fat for good. I feel like my issue is ever since I've been trying to lose weight, since I was like 20, like a little before I turned 21. That was almost 13 years ago. And I'm still trying to lose weight. Not that I don't know how. I've lost weight before. Tons of it. I don't know how to keep it off. That was my issue. I have always set a goal. Every time I set a goal, it's always been to be this size on this date for this event or be this size or this weight at this time for this birthday. But after I get to that point, it's like, okay, I don't think twice about it. I just move on with my life. As if I didn't spend the last, you know, four, five, six, seven, maybe even 12 months busting my ass to get to the weight that I want to be. Once I accomplish that goal, I'm just like, okay, now I could chill out. I can go back to how it was. I could eat freely. I ain't got to log no more. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. I ain't got to be conscious no more. I could eat unconsciously again. And then slowly the weight starts picking back up. And then I get to a point like this. And I'm like, why did I do that to myself? How did I get here again? Because every time I get to my goal, I run my mouth and I'm just like, I'll never be that big again. I'll never, I'll never put myself in that position ever again and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do right. I'm going to do right. It's usually less than a year later. I'm back to weight loss journey. So I was like, I got to try something else. I got to try something else because what used to work in my 20s, what used to work even the last time I lost weight a year and a half ago, it don't work no more. It don't work for me right now. And I'm just like, uh, you got to do something that you don't want to do. 
and I set up my YouTube channel probably maybe like almost four months ago and if you look back at my previous videos they've been about a lot of random things but my very first video my very first video if you guys go check it out I'll leave a link up above um, for y'all to go check it out it's me gaining weight after quarantine and that has been the most popular video on my channel everybody else like yeah I like this I like that but everybody always goes back to my very first video and I wanted my channel to be about a lot of things but I knew I can't be all over the place you know people ain't gonna know like what am I even subscribing to you know what I'm saying like what what is this chick like what is she trying to portray what is she trying to get out entertain what what, what is it I don't know I look back at my channel I was just like it's all over the place I don't know because if I was you I, would, I wouldn't know what 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 to expect but I had to dig deep and think about what am I truly passionate about what have I always been passionate about? What can I be consistent about? Because it means the most to me. And out of all the things that I'm really interested in, it's always been weight loss. It's always been getting fit or die trying. So I decided to designate my channel to that. Um, I need to... I want to be as transparent as possible. I want to reach people. I want people to reach me. I want to see if I can truly beat the odds because I've lost weight, but it has never, to some people it's been a significant amount. To me, it has never been, at the end of that goal, it has never been my ideal weight. Never. I get to a certain point and then I just lax. Or the event comes and I'm just like, I don't need to lose any more weight. Even though I know that that's not even my end weight, my end goal weight. So what has inspired me to do this is about, I want to say about seven years ago. I watched this lady from Australia and her name is El Ip. If you don't know her, if you've never um, seen any of her videos, I'll um, post a picture or something up so y'all could go check out her page. Um, but I remember about seven years ago, I watched her and her documentary about her weight loss journey was called Beyond Expectations. And it was pretty much her documenting how she was willing to get to this specific goal, like her end end goal, not just, oh, let me get to this point for this event. I mean, there was an event involved, but the event included her end end goal, not just whatever weight I am, as long as it's smaller than what I am right now. Her ideal body ideal no and ifs or buts about it and she explains how she was she she has a husband she just had her second baby um you know there's she doesn't have a gym membership she doesn't have a trainer um she only got a few weights a treadmill and she came up with her husband actually did helped her come up with a nutrition plan and she was just like you know I take care of my kids I have to cook I have to clean her husband was sick so she has to take care of him um, so he can't really do much she goes to the grocery store you know she has to do all the running around all these things that a lot of us use as excuses and I'm just like, I catch myself using that excuse, but I went back and watched it, even though it's been seven years since I watched it. Cause I'm just like, I need to get back inspired. Like she inspired me back then, but I feel like I can relate to her more now because my situation is very similar. 
I mean, I do have a spouse, um, but he's legally blind, so he's not sick or anything, but I mean, he can't, he's very limited on what he can help me with too. You know, he can't drive, he can't cook, he can try to clean, but he can't see what he's cleaning, so I mean, I still got to go behind him and, and do it, so it's like I have to, in some ways, do this all by myself too. So it's like she was doing it all by herself, you know, because of her circumstances. She was taking care of her kids. I have two kids. She worked out at home, never went to the gym once. And she just kept documenting and kept staying on track. She had breakdowns and things like that. But I'm just like, that's real shit. That's real shit. So that's what I want to do. I want to be as transparent as possible. I, I feel like doing this will hold me accountable for the long term. And not only that, it will force me to educate myself to figure out a maintenance plan that I can, so that when I get to my goal weight, I could do, I could keep it like that for the rest of my life. No matter how life changes, no matter if my work schedule changed, no matter if somebody gets sick and no matter if I get sick, like nothing will hinder my ideal weight when I get to it. So that's what I want to do y'all. But a couple of videos back, I did a seven day water fast and I did lose weight. It was very fast. And that's what I've always liked. I've always liked fast results. And I've noticed I'm an extremist. Anything that I dedicate my time to, I go to the extreme. I don't just slowly creep my way on. No, no. A bitch goes all in. All in. But I did that with weight loss every single time I've lost weight. Working out six days a week, seven days a week. Very, very low calorie budget very very strict many nights i would go to bed hungry and just be in real shitty moods and i know my fiance he's just like i hate it when you're on your journey to lose weight and at first i was like you want me to be fat my whole life like that's not supportive and he's just like no I want you to be happy with your body, whatever weight that may be, because, you know, he let me know he's happy regardless, but he's just like, when you're so dedicated to losing weight, it's like you're irritable. You're not in a good mood. You're not happy with life throughout the whole entire journey until you hit your goal. Then it's not even your ideal goal. It's just whatever it is at the deadline that I set. And I'm just like, something got to change because I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer while I'm trying to lose weight. I still want to be me. I still want to be happy. I still want to, you know, want people to be around me. But I have never tried the slow and steady weight loss because I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so bad. I do. It's so slow. I can't ever see it instantly. I can't ever see it instantly. But doing it the other way, I only get to enjoy being smaller for like a moment because I sabotage it and I just go back like nothing ever happened. And then I cry and I whine and I'm like, oh, why am I fat again? Why? I did it. I did it. So, like I said, I did a, a water fast. Because fasting has always worked for me. I used to drop, I could drop weight like that. 
when I water fast and I have no problem with discipline either. Like I used to think my issues was like the people on my 600 pound life, even though people are like, you are not 600 pounds. I'm just like, I don't care when I be watching them. I understand them. Okay. I'd be hungry too, but it's like with them, they want that weight loss surgery because they need something to physically stop them from eating. That's not my issue. I realize that my issue is not stopping the eating. I could do that. I could eat like shit all day, all week. And then I'll wake up one day and be like, I'm going to start a water fast. And I just don't eat. It sucks, but I have the discipline and I have the strength to do it for as long as I want to. But of course, it's just a water fast. I drink water, but I also only lose water. I only lose water weight. It's not actual fat. So then all the weight comes back on. The other thing is I try to over exercise a shitty diet. I'd say when I work out hardcore, I try to eat nutritious out of a hundred percent 30 30 percent of what i eat is nutritious everything else is still processed everything else is still fried but i'm just like if i portion it all right then you know i'm working the system i'm still gonna get my results but that clearly don't work either because it doesn't resolve the cravings. It doesn't resolve um, my issues with my skin. And if you can see, issues with my skin. <coughs> it doesn't resolve eating at night. It doesn't resolve the fact that I'm never satisfied. It doesn't even resolve the emotional issue with me and eating. It don't resolve none of that because I'm just like, well, I'm not going to restrict myself. I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm just going to make this little budget and just make it fit in there. But I don't care about macros. I don't care if I don't hit my iron and vitamin C and, and eight cups of veggies a day. I still made it within that budget and ate whatever I want. But when I'm done working out, then I just go back to those same foods because I never trained myself to enjoy the other nutritious foods. And not only that, I just eat those bad foods again in larger portions. So it's not resolving that. So this time I gotta do different. I'm hitting my mid thirties, my metabolism because I yo-yoed. I yo-yoed for over a decade. I'm considered the yo-yo queen, okay? I think I yo-yo more than Oprah. And that's a lot. And I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. If I'm going to lose weight, I should only try to lose weight once. And then maintain the rest of my life. But instead, I spend my life losing weight. It's not how it should be. I shouldn't lose weight my whole life and maintain for a season. I should maintain for the rest of my life and only lose weight for a season. So I'm like, something's got to change. Something has got to change. And I didn't want to do this because I know how vocal and opinionated people on YouTube could be, but I'm just like, they don't pay my bills. What do I care? They can say what they want. It would never happen to my face. So it's just like, I gotta do it. So from here on out, I decided to start my weight loss journey and this time actually document. I feel like I'm gonna document um, my weigh-ins. I wanna document my actual meals, my snacks, 
my actual macros, the the nutrition, like I realized after watching L Ip, she was just like 90% of my success was diet. And I'm just like, I never wanted to face that. And I'm just like, I don't have a problem with my diet. I can eat good, blah, blah, blah. But I was in denial, okay? I can't eat good nonstop. I can't. I try and then I'm like, I want something salty. I want something sweet, but not candy sweet, like cereal. Like... A sandwich with mayo like popcorn you know something I'm just like no that's what's stopping me from getting to my ideal weight so I decided to also incorporate another thing that I've never done before and that is eating multiple times a day now I know some people are like Ain't that how you get big? Ain't that how you get fat? You eat too many times? Mm -mm. Not me. You know how I get fat? Because I could go all day without eating. Because like I said, I could fast. I ain't got no problem with that. You know, some people are like, oh my God, after like three or four hours, I get shaky. I got to eat something. And I'm just like, bitch, I got enough fat on me to last me two years. You know, like I don't need to eat all the fucking time. But I realized in doing that and continuing to do that as I get older and with the extreme that I just drop my calories and then I just up them so fast or then I just stop alcohol and then I just binge for like a month like that. My body is just like, we too old for this. We is too old for this roller coaster and crash. My metabolism was like. Who moving? Me? I'm moving. I. My metabolism is just like. You effed up, girlfriend. I ain't doing nothing for you now. So, cause I I water fast, and then I did another. I did um the OMAD, and I'm just like, how do I only eat once a day? I eat whatever I want. I stay within my calorie budget. And when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, I did not lose one pound. And I was working out five, six times a week. Hardcore, like for two hours. I wasn't losing now one pound. Because my metabolism was like, we done. We done with this mess. We not doing it no more. I don't know what you thought, but this mess don't work no more because we owed, okay? You have to do something right. Fix us. Now, to me, I've always looked at food like there's a goal to when I eat. Like when I eat, I'm on a mission to get to that full feeling. And I'm not about to snack. I'm not about to have some little ass portion and just, just pick food here, pick food there. Because I feel like that's a waste. That's a waste of calories because I keep myself on a calorie budget. That's a waste of calories and it's not doing nothing for me. Okay? I want to be full. Every single time food goes in my mouth, it better make me full. Or I'm not going to eat. Or I'm just going to have a huge portion of it until I get to that full feeling. I know I, I understand that you're supposed to look at food as fuel. But... And I have, but it has always been overpowered by what I want. And what I want is I want that full feeling by any means necessary. And if I don't get it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat. I just don't eat until I can come up with a meal or a meal comes to me that is big enough for me to be stuffed. And it actually gives me anxiety to think that I'm going to eat five to six times a day. But I realize I have to do something because I'm getting older. 
and I can just spend the rest of my thirties or the rest of my life or whatever in denial about like the ways that I'm trying to lose weight are right. And my body, there's something wrong with my body and it's not my fault and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, no bish. Even if something is wrong with your body, which it is, my metabolism is shot. It ain't nobody's fault but mine. But mine. Went back to the drawing board. Did a little more research. Watched that video. Watched that documentary. And she was, she ate eight times a day. There ain't no way I could do that. No way. I mean, maybe if I get a little more advanced down the road or like closer to my, to my weight loss goal, but five times a day freaks me out, let alone eight times a day. But my job keeps me so busy. There would be no way for me to find time to get a snack, get a healthy this, healthy that in my mouth in between my sessions and stuff. No way. So I'm going to try to shoot for five, which I actually started. Today is Tuesday. I actually started actually started it Sunday. I started it Sunday. And what's crazy is I I looked at my clock and I made sure I ate every three hours to fit five meals in. So I did that and I'm just like, every time I ate and it was all healthy. It was all healthy. No bullshit. It was all healthy. I had a wrap. I had, oh, I had like a carb friendly high fiber burrito with eggs and um chorizo which it's pork not the greatest give me a break it's my first day and for dinner it was like chicken and it was just healthy 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 but even though I was eating all those things and I knew three hours later I was gonna have to eat something else I was like getting anxiety. I was just like, I'm going to get fat. I got to stop eating. Just don't eat. Don't eat. Just save all this and eat it. Combine it all and eat it all in one meal at 6.30 and 7 when it's time for dinner. I was just like, no, Lucy, you got to trust the process. You have to break what you're doing to yourself because you're not going to get the results if you keep going back to what you want to do and not what you need to do. Like... Y'all, I'll be giving myself all types of pep talks, all types. Because I'll be like, I don't want to do this. But you know, old girl, she did the same thing. She she cry. I don't think I'm going to cry. Hell, I don't know. I ain't never did this before. So, shit, I probably will cry. I don't know. That bitch is going to struggle. But you know what? I want to show y'all that if she can do it, all these hundreds of thousands of peoples that lose weight and keep it off for a long, 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 long time. That could be for me. Like, I'm always like, oh, I'm sure I can only be like this small, even though in my dreams, I want to be this small, but that's not reality for me. Why not? I feel like it's only not reality for me because I don't want to do what I need to do and not what I want. And, and I continue to do what I want to do. And I'm just like, these are my methods. And this is how they work for me. But I always end up looking like a smaller, jigglier version of me. I don't ever look fit. I don't ever look strong. And definitely now when I'm in my 30s, Oh, flap, flap, flapping away now. And I can't do that to my body. I keep saying, oh, it's my body's fault. Oh, it's gravity. It's this, it's that. No. <laughs> it's me not lifting some damn weights because I think I can run off a buffet <laughs> that I just consumed. Because I think I can run three miles and I can freaking have McDonald's. I can have my KFC. I can have three pieces of chicken, two sides, maybe even two biscuits, and an ice cold Pepsi. 
because I ran three miles. Nope. So I'm going to do my measurements. I'm going to put my measurements up here. Um, this is my starting. This is what I look like starting. Embarrassing. I know people are going to be coming for me. They're going to be like, ew. see that blah, blah, blah. I don't care this is what I want to do this is my starting weight I I got all my weight back from the water fest that was like literally four weeks ago and a couple pounds I have no problem letting y'all know that I'm gonna have some fallouts okay I'm gonna mess up because I don't want to document and be like, oh, I stayed on it perfect. I never slipped up and and I could never do that, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, y'all go see my slip ups because I do them a lot. And I'm a sucker for beating myself up over one meal, over one piece of food that I wasn't supposed to eat. And I just be like, oh. I always think like that one piece of food that I wasn't supposed to eat just made me gain five pounds I mean psychologically I'm pretty effed up when it comes to food and I didn't think it was that serious but clearly it is because it's not normal to have those feelings it's not normal to have the immense guilt that I get when I slip up because I want it so perfect I'm just like thinking to myself why I'm not perfect now what do I think starting a weight loss journey and that's gonna be perfect it's not realistic what i want to be realistic is my journey showing y'all this time slow and steady got to win this race for me it got to because i've been sprinting every single time i could sprint i got enough gas in me to sprint but to slowly just mosey on down the weight loss journey. I'm just like, that's for the birds, okay? I'm trying to be a baddie right now. But my body's like, nope. We doing, if you want to do this, I'm not going to cooperate until you do it right. And so incorporating five to six times a day eating that I research is going to speed up my metabolism until finally I get it to a healthy state where hopefully I can keep it there and not F it up like I have been over the past decade to where if I want to intermittent fast, if I want to do OMED, if I want to periodically water fast, I could do that without damaging or corrupting my metabolism. Cause right now if I do it, my metabolism is like sleep. It's in a coma, it ain't moving. So it would all be pointless. I would just be dealing with that hunger for no damn reason. I go to sleep hungry. I'd be dealing with this whole attitude that I'd be having, an attitude and a half, and I'll be for nothing. Because the minute I put some food in my mouth, it's gonna go straight to my jiggly ass. And I don't want that anymore. I don't want it. I wanna be fit. I wanna be strong. I want to tighten up as much skin as I can. I mean, I know I've done so much damage that it's not going to be like, <laughs> but I want to do as much as possible. Who knows? Maybe down the line, I get a tummy tuck or something. I don't know. That's one of my dreams too, but hell, let's just start with today. My hormones are imbalanced. So technically this is the second cycle of the month. And that's another thing. I'm tired of that. I only get to enjoy my body without any water weight for like a week. Then I have my real cycle. Then I'm a big cycle because I effed up my metabolism and I eat so crappy and my eating schedule and workout regimen or whatever I want to call it is all over the place. It's the same thing with my hormones. They'd be like, is we finna have a cycle? Am I coming? Am I not? I guess I'll come. I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm coming anyway. I know you don't like it, but I'll be back in two weeks. 
Like, no, that's not how your body is supposed to go. And I was blaming birth control because of synthetic hormones. And I was blaming the weather because it got colder. And it's my diet. It's my improper diet, my improper nutrition that is messing my insides up because it's what I put in my body. I do want to start this at home workout regimen to where I'm shooting for a minimum of three, a maximum of five, six, if I'm trying to be like the bomb.com, but we'll see, but three times, three to five times a day, a week, I'm sorry, a week. I want to work out and I want to do 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of strength training. And I can't go back to running. My knees are like, bitch, you want to try to run again? Cool. But just so you know, you're going to need a knee replacement in about three plus years. Okay. And I'm not doing it. I don't want that surgery, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to have to be low impact. And that's another thing. I hate low impact workouts because it just reminds me like low impact just immediately in my head is just like geriatrics it's just like that is not me but it's just like girl you're not young though you're not young so it's gonna have to be low impact because low impact is what's incorporated and slow and steady wins the race so i'm gonna incorporate that too but i want to take y'all on this journey i want y'all to keep in touch help encourage me. I mean, I'm, I'm here to try to inspire others who are in very hard predicaments as far as like their lifestyle, their schedule, different circumstances in life. Like I want to show that it could be done. It could be done and it's not going to be done flawless. Not at all. Not flawless at all, but it could be done. And just because it's not flawless doesn't mean it can't be done at all. And that's something I had to like put in my head. So yeah, if y'all are ready for this journey, stick with me y'all. That I'm going to have one cheat day a week. I do know that. A day, not a meal. I know mugs be talking about, no, don't do a whole day. You just mess up everything, blah, blah, blah. Look, you're not a professional. I'm not either. You have your life, I have mine. This is how, it's all about trial and error, okay? What works for you is cool. But clearly, it's not always going to work for me. So, of course, I'm going to listen to my body or whatever, okay? I'm not dumb. But I'm going to have a cheat day, okay? I'm going to have a cheat day. And I'm going to develop enough discipline to where I won't feel guilty because I have to trust the process. I don't trust a lot of things, but I need to trust the process. I need to trust myself that I could do it. You know, I say I'm strong, but it, do I really believe that? Like I need to prove to myself too. I want to prove to myself and also inspire. So if y'all made it this far with me, yap, yap, yappy, and y'all, you know, y'all want to come on a journey with me. I'm going to be showing y'all meals, be showing y'all my weight loss, my measurements, pictures. If I got a vent about something, I might come up on here like, <laughs> a bitch just want a Dorito. Like, <laughs> can I get a taco? Like, <laughs> okay, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I have no problem expressing it though. But, if you're not already subscribed and you watch this video and you just like, that shit dope. I want to see what you're working with. Hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so that you'll know when I post my weigh-ins. I'll let y'all know when I decide when I'm going to post my weigh-ins. I'm thinking I should only do it once a week on the same day, same time, every week. Because I want it to be as accurate as possible. So that's what I'm going to do once a week. I might post though like two times a week though, just to show y'all like my daily life routine, if anything like comes up, how I adjust to it because life's going to happen. Life's never going to stop. It's going to keep happening. So 
I mean, I want to show y'all like my ways of how I adjust or my ways if I give in. So y'all can see, hey, you ain't the only one, okay? <laughs> my bitch love tacos too. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you to my current subscribers. Y'all didn't have to subscribe to a bitch, okay? Because I don't think I'm all that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but I love y'all. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting. We're going to do this. You want to do it too? We can do this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.